Welcome back to the Chronicles of Naboria. I'm Jason Piercy, and today I have another clip for you from the end of our last chronicle. As I stated in the last video, many characters sacrificed themselves to aid in kicking the Illithid off the world and making it safe for everyone on the planet. In this clip, the character Genya sacrifices himself for the Emperor Nanashi, and uh, both were player characters, and it was uh, somewhat of an emotional scene for some of our players. I hope you enjoy. There are other Illithid, and they get, the other people get to go now. Okay. And what's your AC? Um, this is actually uh, 30. kind of a combo of D&D 3.5 and Pathfinder Volume 1. You're fine. So, uh, random mind control people, both the Dake and some just peasants, right, come up to you and try to attack you, or they try to shoot you, or whatever, they all miss. None of them have a chance. You're just like, okay, arrows, who cares, flying by me, they're, I don't have to dodge, they're just missing me because they suck, and these guys <laughs> can't hit the bronze side of a barn, Mostly I'm not that. worried about them. However, I, I, I will need um, three I'm rinse my bowl out. You, as you do see three other lithid. Yeah. All right. Uh, 36. Ooh. Uh, 26. That's bad. And 29. Uh, well, Carrie, yeah, I rolled really crappy on those last two. Yeah, no kidding. Um, you're stunned for six rounds. Ah. Uh, all right. Hold on. Let me put that down. Uh oh. And let him. A stunned creature drops everything held, can't take actions, takes a negative two penalty to AC, and loses dex bonus to AC if any. So, uh, that's where we are right now, Carrie. Okay. Seven so minutes. I got Portillo's coming. I'm going to narrate something for you. Sure, Portillo's. You watch as you told them not to cut the people down, but they can't help but have to to get to you. As three Illithid approach you, you can see the Emerald Champion and his men engage as many people as they can to try to keep them back. Soon, even many of them are overwhelmed by the Illithid and the men. Only the Emerald Amp Champion himself stands at your side, cutting at anything he can. Even he can't take them all. And this goes on for, well, since you're basically stunned in a stupor, it seems like time passes so quickly and slowly at the same time. You're able to look these creatures in the eyes you don't see anything you recognize there one of them one of them gets a tentacle on you the emerald champion moves to defend you and he is pushed back engaging the other two one of them has a tentacle on you is in a red uniform Similar to the one in the yellow uniform, but red, not yellow. Hmm. Another tentacle is on you. Well, they wanted me to be on the couch or on the chair. They're A mad moment that I later, didn't. all four of his tentacles are on you. And then you hear a shout from above you. A blast radiates out. Mr. Wiggles. No. I it's know. Virginia. They're just being funny. 
<laughs> Thank God, Virginia. My emperor. <sighs> Virginia. <laughs> and he comes in. He is. He has uh, defeated the last group. Somebody's and getting their brain eaten right now. Made his way uh, yeah, here. It's important. But he is not it's reinforced. Like didn't succeed on a, say, on a check. I'm right. not there. Oh, but the army I'm getting. He's not reinforced by anyone, though. And he says, I'll cover you. Go. And the Emerald Champion starts getting his men who are left up and battling their way through. He begins engaging the elusive that was on you, who is now fully like, fuck this guy. I don't know who he is, but you don't do that to me. <laughs> and they start throwing fire and light at each other. Even sound. The elithid at one point in time, some weird fucking sound jumps out of Jinya. It doesn't seem to do a lot of damage to him, but it hurts him. And you're able to move again. You, you can start to move your fingers. And the Emerald Champion comes up beside you and is like helping you. He's like, we must run. And you hear the roar of Shimoto once again. But it sounds like a very mournful roar. I, I pick up my bow. Uh-huh. And, uh, I'll listen to my, my champion. And you begin to leave. As you are withdrawing from this combat, you look back and can see a solitary Jenya overwhelmed by the lithid and the men. He has tried his best to not kill Nahurans by dazing them with another blast. He doesn't have much left. And as he's fighting back the lithid, the redhead, the red-shirted one gets a hold of him. So can I... Can I take an action for... Are you actually withdrawing? Oh, God. There are two more groups of Elithid. Hmm. Yeah. And there are those here that you don't know what they were doing. You don't see... It's not like all the lithid here, right? There could be more even in this area. As there are more people ransacking houses. It seems like you've been standing there long enough that they're looking for something. Maybe someone. Huh. I, don't, I don't know what I would use to look into that or to try and figure out what they could possibly be looking for. Um. Yeah, we withdraw because we need to regroup. There's really nothing I can do. No. The capital is falling. You withdraw and regroup. You meet up with another contingent of Imperial soldiers. Small one. Even their numbers are dwindled. Many of them are badly harmed. But you do see uh, with them is a dragon seemingly with radiant scales. All right. Emperor Nanashi. His booming voice rings out. Lord Radiant Dragon. I fear this is... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. My apologies. Uh, your champion sacrificed himself to to save me. It was his duty to do so as it is all of the men here. 
This clip was taken from Avital Elizabeth's Twitch stream of the finale. Please check out her content in the links below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time.